today I'm joined on my sofa this time by the one that only gets aka right? Ghetto, aka GH. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm alright. Yeah, right. thank you for coming today. It's, it's a pleasure for me. The pleasure for me. You know what? Let me just tell you guys I like, I'm I'm a big fan, like from, it but just it puts a normal Italy for me, you know. Is yeah, I'm a big fan, I'm a very, very big fan. And um one of the first things I was gonna ask you, because obviously you're from East London Plateau. Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm from. Oh, you're from there as well, yeah. I'm from there, I'm from there. Do you still go back home and everything? Yeah. Yeah? I've I've never seen you. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I not seen you? <laughs> you know how funny this is. You know, you know what I'm laughing. Yeah. You're gonna make people think that I don't go to the ends. No, no I've never seen you in my life. Honestly, like, I I'll probably probably catch you outside, but I've never seen you in my life in in Glasgow no, at no. all. No. I'm a bit old to be on the on the corners. Oh, you can't be right. that there for that. Oh, so you're, so you're whipping around the corner this still yeah. on two feet. Yeah. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Like, how was it for you to grow up in Boston? What was like one of your best memories, worst memories? Um, best memories, I'd say. Uh, Beckton got like Brian Beckton Globe and like the youth club. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not, not obviously not this plaster kind of custom house, but it's all structured. Yeah, yeah. So do you like? Do you still rep East and everything? Is East still the place where you say, "Listen, this is my, this is my area. I would never leave." Of course, I would. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> you're nuts. You're nuts. <laughs> I would never leave. <laughs> well, um, you would leave. Yeah. Oh, you're rude. You're I've rude. Left. I've left. You've left. Yeah. <gasps> No, the aim, that's the aim though. But no. we can't be friends. That's not the aim, no. No, I'm joking, it is. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do, I do. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with being content. Mm. Like, cool not... where you are, yeah? Nah. <laughs> no, but you know what, yeah? Like, like, listen, I'll still, like, this is still in my heart, innit? Yeah. And plus it's still in my heart, so that's why. But yeah, you would, you would leave. I don't, I don't blame you for leaving. Yeah, that's why we don't see you no more. No, I'm not you said you've never seen me. I've never seen you. Exactly. In my life. <laughs> so why music? Why do you think music was your calling? When did you start thinking that like, this is for me? I'm a late star. I started at um, 19, 20. That's, okay. That's quite late. Mm. Yeah. MCs are the start. Yeah. Uh, people were saying when, uh, when I was spitting, they can, they can visualize it. Yeah. So I began to just... Mm. I ain't never killed anybody, but I've wanted to. A lot of close calls. I love the ends, but I wanna like with you and you've got such a distinctive voice. Yeah. So you can tell like from day like a, a GH track that like, you could tell it was you on there. Like what do you think makes apart from your voice as well, what else do you think makes you stand out from other musicians? Um, Okay, so what do you think is the most annoying thing for you, like being a musician? Is there anything that annoys you? Um, but sometimes the, the the politics of music can can, can mess with the individual's creativity. So mm. I'd say just sometimes the politics of how the actual business runs yeah. can, can mess with your creativity. But when you just want to get the studio and go out and make good music, that you yeah. want to listen to over and over again. Mm. The politics can get really messed up. And do you mean politics as in like just people talking rubbish or? Oh, no, no, no. Like that, just, um, and sometimes it's kind of, um, I guess, yeah, in the mainstream view of things, it's, it's kind of hard to make music that we make and be successful. Yeah. Kind of which is which is not I'm not complaining about it, which is not a problem because you kinda of learn you learn things in the process. So yeah. Right. It's true. But obviously your music has changed, like even your new single now was yeah. not so new but Rebel yeah. as well has changed from even on a level like your other track there like a couple of years ago. So do you feel like it's essential to change with the times and everything? <clears throat> no, it's just a it's just something with me, like I get I get bored pretty easy. And mm. I like listening to my own music and uh, yeah. I've kinda of realised along the way that 
like it. The more kind of different musicians that I meet, they bring something different out of me. Yeah. So like I'm, I, like I, I like rapping in it. So mm. I kind of always um, trying to master the art of it. of of spitting. So yeah. Anything I can do to to kind of be out be out of my comfort zone a bit, but mm. still do it as well as as something that I do in my comfort zone. Yeah. So I try and do that sometimes when I'm, when I'm in the studio for hours, just mm. looking for, for a sound that kind of pulls my emotional strings yeah. so that I can start writing and whatnot. Yeah, because yeah. even Rebel like is a bit more rocky yeah. than what we usually hear from you, yeah. which I really enjoyed actually. I think it's quite a good track. I think it's a good angle for you. So what kind of like influenced you to do that? Um, my, my album title was Rebel of a Cause. Um, and when I when I wrote Rebel, it was, uh, it was around the time like the, the loot and stuff was. Yeah. It was concentrating on that a lot in the media. Mm. So um, just 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 having that on day in day out, I went to studio and I wrote something like um, just just so people that. That, that wouldn't still might just have an understanding what goes through mm. a young man's mind like, at, mm. at, at that moment. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to write from that perspective. Okay. So what do you think the next step is? Because I've even noticed you've got fans like in the US yeah. and in the UK and everything. So like, it does that does that throw you or does that make you want to keep going? How do you feel about that? Mm. Just keep going, innit? Yeah. Just spreading. Mm. And I'm saying spreading organically as well. That's what I kind of. That's what I'm enjoying about it. Yeah. And, um, people in different countries. Mm. Like, they listen to my music, or I've been to another country, and I've yeah. I've conversated with them on how, how they've come across the music. Mm. It's like very organic ways they yeah. come across the music. So I believe that could make you cherish music a bit more. So if I can keep spreading like that. Mm. And isn't it amazing, like when other people from next places and yeah, they listen to you, yeah, it's they crazy. know you are. It's crazy. Like, how do you deal with that? It's crazy. I just kind of, I just kind of crack on. Like, it's kind of rewarding. Yeah. You know, it lets you know that you're doing something right. Mm. But just to crack on though, still, and, and, and stay humble. Yeah. And just do the, do the music. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Other than music, what else do you like doing? Um, roller skating. Are you joking? Really? Are you good? Right, so yeah. What do you have like professional skates and everything? Yeah. And what? I could never visualize you did that. A what do you go to like that. roller disco and that? Yeah, well, before it got, but I swear that you go roller disco before before it got like proper bait. I was I was going there quite a bit. Are you joking? No. Can you do it backwards? Yeah. What? Can you do the split? I'm from a like I'm from the skating era. Like, <laughs> like, like that means when I was a kid, like I was skating. Oh like, my god! It's something I enjoy now. That like, sometimes if I'm if I'm brain dead, yeah. Like when I'm writing, I'll just go for a skate or something. Like, Is it? Night, like two in the morning or something. Wow. So do you think it calms you down or something? I don't know, man. It's just it's just therapeutic. That's, yeah. That's a good so, I'm, I'm from Jamaica, Grenada. Yeah, represented Jamaica, mm. of course. Jamaica and Grenada. Mm. Uh, people think I'm um, from Ghana, but people probably am also. What from Ghana? Because, cause, see, like back in the day, I said it's from Ghana to, to, to Jamaica. So. I heard it was Nigeria to Jamaica. No, it was Ghana. <laughs> yeah, it's Ghana. Yeah, it's Ghana. Yeah. See, I'm not just over like, is he okay? <laughs> So I've got like a 60 question, yeah. I've got, not 60 questions, I mean I've got 60 seconds, yeah. you've got to answer this question, like it's got to be, basically I'm going to ask you two things, you've got to choose which one the most, yeah, but it's, it's within 60 seconds, so your time, you can say why you, you like it better than the other one, but your time, you just have to remember, like your time, okay, <laughs> alright then, so you guys ready, yeah, the time is on, so, the first one is, so which one would you choose, apples or pears? Apples. Chicken breasts or fries? Fries. Yeah. Breast is dry. Man. So the, still got a bit of juice on the nah, side. Nah, the breast is, I can't handle 
no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started. I have this argument long term. <laughs> Tomato sauce or mayo? Mayonnaise. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> Benz or Bima? Benz. Dry hands or dry lips? Dry hands. <laughs> Curvy or flat? Curvy. Weave or natural? Depends. That, that's the depends. Yeah? I'm not late. I'm not late. See, everyone struggles with, with this one. I don't understand. You don't mind? I don't mind. Okay. Padded bra or bum pads? <laughs> None of them. You have to choose one. None of them. No, you have to choose one. <laughs> no, one None. You have to choose. Uh... No. <laughs> um, gold or silver? Gold. Thank you guys. That's me, Siobhan. And this is the interview bubble with obviously the lovely Get who got on our sofa. Thank you very much guys, we're out.